Okay, let's take a look at this example. Again, we are going to write the equation first. So I have the number 20. So this is 20. Remember, is stands for equal sign and I have 300% of is my multiplication and what number is my unknown. I want to find value of n. I have 300% multiplied to n. In order to eliminate this from n, I have to divide both sides equation by 300%. Why? Because I have to multiplication over here. 300 and 300 will cancel out and I'm going to have n equals 20 divided by 300 percent. Now, reduce the fraction first. 20 and 300. Both of them are divisible by 20. Okay. 20 divided by 20 is 1. 300 divided by 20 is 15 percent. Now, remember, we don't like percents in the denominator. In order to eliminate percents from the denominator, we have to multiply whole fraction by 100 percent. I'm going to convert 100% to improper fraction. Percent and percent will cancel out. Now, 15 and 100. Both of them are divisible by 5. So I'm going to divide them by 5. Okay, so I have 1 over 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 20 divided by 1. I can multiply right now numerator with numerator. It's going to be 20 because 1 times 20 is 20 divided by 3. 1 times 3 is 3. Now, this is improper fraction. I'm going to convert improper fraction to the mixed number. Okay? Remember, we have to divide numerator by the denominator. How many times 3 goes into 20? 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. And subtract, I have 2. My answer is 6 and 2 thirds. Remember, the top number goes to the front, remainder goes to the numerator, and divisor goes to the denominator. So, I can say n, my answer, is equal 6 and 2 thirds.